today. Um, today we're going to do lesson two, grade six, term two, and our topic is multiplication and rounding off. Uh, we've then this link to worksheet 32 in your DBE box. So that is worksheet 32 that you all can also do. Um, I'm going to go back to the lesson plan. This is then your link to the CAPS curriculum. And then I'm going to scroll up to here. And this is where you can then pause. And what you can do is you can look at the resources, um, nice facts about mathematics. Did you know? These are all type of things that we create to create a love for mathematics. Um, then what we have is we have some definitions of words. So let's then start with the... Um, mental maths. I'm just quickly going to remove the answers and then we can get the learners ready to take part. So what we're going to do is you're going to do this activity. You're going to pause. They're quickly going to do the answers orally um, or going to write it down um, and then we're going to unpause and mark it. Okay, well done. So we're going to then provide you with the answers, you're quickly going to pause this activity and you're going to mark it. So let's go and look what we're going to do today. So we're going to revise the rounding off numbers to the nearest 10, to the nearest 100 and to the nearest 1000. I'm quickly going to revise this because it's a very important aspect. So if we round something off to the nearest 10, what we only do is we only look at the tens and the units. So in this case with 8, we're going to look at 8. So 8 is between 0 and 10. And according to the rounding off rules, anything higher than 5 will then go to 10. So 8 rounded off to the nearest 10 is 10. When we're going to look at 34, we're going to ask ourselves the question first, between which two tens are 34? And we will say it's between 30 and 40. And according to the rounding of rules, when it ends, then the unit is then a 4, we will go to the lower 10, that is 30. When we're going to look at 167, we're going to look at 67 only, because we rounded off to the nearest 10. So we're going to say 67 is between which two tens? We're going to say it's between 60 and 70. So then what we're going to see is it ends on a 7. We're going to use the unit to see that we're going to move to the higher 10. So we're going to do, go to 170. Then lastly, the number 2,352. Here again, we're only going to look at the tens and the units. 52. So 50 is between 52 is between which two tens? It's between 50 and 60. According to the rounding off rules, is anything that ends on the two then we go to take to the previous 10. So that's 50. I want you to pause and quickly explain this to somebody. Welcome back. So now we're going to round off to the numbers to the nearest hundred. So here again is we're going to look at the hundreds and the tens place. So first we only have a number that's got tens. So 64. We're going to ask 64 is between which two hundreds. It's between 0 and 100. According to the rounding off rules, I'm going to look at the 6, the tens place, and see it's more than 5. So we're going to round it to 100. So 64 is rounding off 64 is 100. Let's look at 397. So here we're going to first ask the question. 397, between which two hundreds will we find this number? It's between 300 and 400. Then we're going to look at the tens to see, will it go to 300 to 400? So 90, 390 is closer to 400, so we're going to round it off to 400. Then we're going to look at 241. 241 is between which two numbers? Yes, excellent. It's between 200 and 300. Which number are we going to use to round off? Yes, we're going to use 40, the tens. So we know that anything lower than 5 goes to the previous number. So 240 rounded off will be then 200. Let's look at the next number. 3,765. 3, at what are we going to look? Which two numbers will help us to round off? 
Excellent. It's the number in the hundreds place and the number in the tens place. So 765 is between which two hundreds? It's between 700 and 800. So we're going to use then the tens place, the six, to help us to round off. So 760. Will it go to 700 or will it go to 800? Because this is a six, it will go to 800. So 3,765 is then 3,800. I want you to pause at this point and then explain all of these to somebody. Welcome back. So the last one is round off numbers to the nearest thousand. So 376. So what we're going to look is we're going to look at numbers between thousands. Now in this case, this number is between 0 and 1,000. But because in the hundreds place it's a three, we're going to round to the previous number. It is going to be zero. When we have a number like 895, it's also between zero and a thousand. But because in the hundreds place it's an eight, it will become then, if we round it off, it is a thousand. Let's look at bigger numbers. We're looking at 2,437. Between which two thousands will you find this number? Excellent. Between two thousand and three thousand. We're then going to use the hundreds, hundreds place to see the four. Oh, sorry about that. We're going to see that the four will go to the previous number. So two thousand four hundred, if we round it off, it will be two thousand. So two thousand four hundred and thirty-seven rounded off to the Nearest thousand is then two thousand. Then the last one is four thousand eight hundred and twenty-one. So between which two numbers, between which two thousands will we find this number? Brilliant. Yes, five thousand. So we're going to see it's between four thousand and five thousand. Is it closer to four thousand or closer to five thousand? Yes, it's closer to five thousand because of the 800. So 4,821 rounded off to the nearest thousand is equal to, uh, to 5,000. So now we're going to start with the concept development. The important part of this concept development is that we can quickly multiply two numbers, that's quite big, um, mentally. Um, and to do that mentally, we can just quickly round off the numbers to get it estimated answer. So this is not the correct answer. It's just an estimated answer for later on when we do quick uh, mental calculations. So we're going to look at 4,362. So we year 4,000. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to round it off to the nearest thousand. So again, you ask the question between which two thousands will you find it? And it's between 4,000 and 5,000. Is it closer to 4,000 or 5,000? It's closer to 4,000. So we round it off to 4,000. Then what we're going to do is we're going to round it off to the 108. We're going to round it off to the nearest 8. You can just by looking at it, see it's 100. Because 108 is between 100 and 200, but 108 is closer to 100. So what I'm quickly going to do is I'm going to multiply the two numbers and then 4,100. So remember again how to multiply it. You multiply 4 and 1, 4. You count how many zeros there are and you have that. So you got 5. So it's more or less 400,000. That's one type of example. The next type of example um, is where we're going to only going to round off the first number. Um, here you might need to do a bit of calculations on a piece of paper. So you can see we, we multiplied, we rounded off the first number to 4,000. But the next number we didn't. We kept it as 108. So what are we going to do? Remember, we want now to multiply 4,000 with 100, and then 4,000 again with 8. This gives us 400,000 plus 32,000. And we get a total of 432,000. Again, example 2, this method might need 
written work. All of them, you can start example one and two, you can start with some written work and then try, challenge yourself and see if you can do it mentally. So I first go to stop here now. And what I want you to do is I first want you quickly to explain example number one and example number two to an adult and the difference between the two. Okay, well done. Let's quickly look at example number three. So example number three, the first number we're not going to round um, off, but we're going to round off the last number. Now we know 108, if you round it off to the nearest 100, it's 100. And what you need to do then is to take 4,362 and multiply it with 100. We know if we multiply it with 100, we add another two zeros to the number and we got get 436,200. Again, this is just an estimated answer. Now let's look at the last example. So the last example is we're not going to round off the first number like we did in example 1 and 2 to the thousand. We're only going to round it off to 100. So 4,362, again, we're only going to look at 362. We see it's between 300 and 400. Is it closer to 300 or 400? It's closer to 400. So if we round it then off, it is 400. So the, the number then is 4,400 multiplied by 100. We round it off 108 to 100. When we multiply these numbers again, what we do is we take the number and we add the two zeros. We, so we got 440,000. I want you to pause the video now and explain example number three and four to somebody. Then compare the two. Then I want you to go back and compare one, two, three, and four. And say which one do you prefer, but also which one is the most accurate when we multiply these two numbers. Well done. Let's move then to the worksheets. Again, the SA teacher worksheets, or you can do it in the DBE books. Um, you've got some practice to round off to the nearest 10, 100,000. And then what you have is you have all the questions. Remember, um, go back to the examples if you're not sure how to do it. Um, what we also suggest here is after you've done all of this, that you need to check your answers um, by multiplying it using a calculator and see how close were you to the correct answer. Then we're going to go to the problem solving. Remember the problem solving, um, use the techniques that we've done before in the previous grades or later in this term, we're also going to go back to those techniques. Then um, remediation. Um, here is an example again, what you can do step by step by using different colors um, to help you then to understand this. Okay, so now here again with the consolidation, if you clicked, ticked everything yes, you can carry on. If there's any no's, um, revise, revisit that or contact us at SA Teacher. <music>